Welcome back to Miss Teacher Tube with Janice Leong. Today we're going to be looking at repeating patterns. We're going to learn all kinds of vocabulary that goes with that, like term. A term is an item within a pattern. Each item is one term. Each thing is one term. An attribute. An attribute is a quality that a term has. Qualities like thickness, size, shape, direction. Those are all qualities that may change in a pattern from one item to another. So attributes are usually the things that change within a pattern. Core of a pattern. A pattern core is the part of the pattern that is repeating. So you'll look at a certain number of terms and when you see that repeating, that little group that repeats is your core. We'll talk more about that later. And we're going to work on extending patterns. Now, when you extend something, you are making it longer or bigger. So we're going to look at a pattern core, the terms in the pattern, the attributes that are changing, and we are going to learn how to extend patterns. We had a lot of fun on today's episode. I'll see you soon. So an attribute is a quality that an item has. To better understand attributes, let's like take a look at this example. With the eggs, they're all the same. The only attribute that's changing is the color from egg to egg. Looking at this collection of hearts, there are two different attributes that are changing. The color of the hearts and the size of the hearts. If you look at this collection of hearts, there are also other shapes in the background. So this is a more complicated collection of attributes. Here we have the direction of the hearts is changing. Some are upside down, some are right side up. We have the size of the hearts that is changing. There's different shapes that are changing in this pattern as well as color. Now if we take a look at the hexagons, the hexagon, the changing attribute is the thickness. Although all the hexagons are the same size and shape, the thickness of the hexagons is changing. So that's our look at attributes. Welcome back. So now that you know what attributes are, we're going to move on to learning what terms are. So you can see the pattern behind me. The attribute that's changing, of course, is the color. So I've got orange and blue. Those are my colors, and that is what's changing within my pattern. Uh, what we're going to do now is count the terms. Now, a term is an individual item in your pattern. So every little thing is a term. So there's one term. So we're going to count the terms and write them down. Here we go. You can count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So in this pattern, I have got twelve terms. Go ahead, pause the next slide, and you count the terms in the patterns that I have coming. See you soon.
Welcome back. So now that we've studied what an attribute is, we know what a term is, now we're going to look at a pattern core. Now there's a secret to patterns. You don't have, actually have a pattern unless your core repeats three times. If it only repeats two, well, it may look nice, but it's not really a pattern until it repeats three times. So I'll show you which pat part of my pattern is the core. Orange, orange, blue, blue. Orange, orange, blue, blue. Orange, orange, blue, blue. Here is my core. Orange, orange, blue, blue. And it is repeating one, two, three times. So I have a pattern and the core of my pattern is the orange, orange, blue, blue. The first four terms are my core. You take a look at the patterns I have coming up for you and identify the core. Welcome back. Now it's time for us to mix it all up and have some fun with it. We're going to take all the knowledge we've learned about attributes, terms, cores, and we're going to identify it all for this pattern. And then we're going to take it a step further and we're going to figure out what the next two terms are. So let's get started. First of all, we're going to count the number of terms in this pattern. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So in this pattern, I have nine terms. What is changing? Well, obviously the color is changing. So here we're going to write color. And let's figure out what the core is because we have to identify the next two. So what I want you to do in the patterns coming up in your practice work is to circle the core. So I'm gonna circle my core just like I want you to do. Let's double check I have the core. So we've got orange, blue, orange, blue, orange, blue, orange, blue. I think we got it. So now we're gonna figure out the next two terms. Okay, so we've got orange, blue, orange, blue, orange, blue, orange, blue, orange. The next one is going to be blue, followed by another orange one. You can just write orange and blue on your lines because you don't have all the shapes that I do. Have some fun on the next pages and I'll see you soon. Well, we've come to the end of another Miss Teacher 2 episode. We have learned a lot about repeating patterns today. Make sure you remember what a term is, an attribute is, a core is, and we also put all that knowledge together to extend repeating patterns. It sure has been a busy day and we've learned an awful lot today. You'll be using that in the next episode. So. Again, if these videos are useful to you, please like and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Bye for now.